Namaste yogis, welcome to your bedtime yoga class for insomnia sufferers. Um, this class is perfect to do right before you attempt to go to sleep. If you're watching this and it's the middle of the night and you want to do some yoga to help you fall asleep, then I would recommend that you do class number four instead of this one because we'll start with a little bit more of a dynamic flow and then kind of wind things down more into yin practice. Um, so if it's the middle of the night and you can't sleep, um, I would recommend uh, class number four because it's a pure yin class, so that's more suitable for you. But if you know that you have trouble falling asleep on the regular, you can do this kind of um, to help you ease into your sleep so that you fall asleep a little bit easier. Um, for today's class, you won't need any props at all, so just find yourself onto your mat. You can close your eyes. Make sure that you're sitting in a comfortable seated position. And then just rest your hands on top of your thighs. Take a moment to check in with yourself and your body. Notice how you feel. See if you can relax your hips here. Allow them to root down into your mat. Allow your legs to become heavier. And then see if you can find more length through your spine, allowing your shoulders to remain heavy as well. And very gently start deepening your breath. See if you can breathe down towards the bottom of your stomach here. And on the inhale, really allow the belly to balloon out, allow it to take up as much space as it wants to. And on the exhale, very gently, with love, pull the belly back in. So moving with the breath here, inhale, expand, and exhale, contract. And as you're deepening your breath here, maybe you can find a few moments of silence between the inhales and the exhales. So at the bottom of the uh, exhale, you wait for maybe one, maybe six counts, however much you want until you start the inhale. Same at the top of the inhale, you wait for a few counts, however much feels comfortable to you before you fully exhale. And what this pattern of breathing is signaling to your body is that it is safe and it is a good time to relax. Staying here for a couple more breaths. The last little round here. And then you can bring your right thumb to your right nostril. Press it so it closes. Inhale fully through your left nostril. Hold your breath at the top. Now switch your fingers, bring your middle finger on your left nostril and release the right. Exhale fully through right. Take a little break here. And then inhale through right. Take a little pause at the top. Now switch your fingers again. Exhale through left. Take a pause. At the bottom of the exhale, inhale through left, hold the breath, switch your fingers and exhale through the right. Inhale through right, hold your breath, switch your fingers, exhale through left. Hold your breath, inhale through left, hold it at the top, switch your fingers again, exhale through right. Inhale through right, hold it at the top, exhale through left. 
We'll do one more round together. Inhale through left. Hold it at the top. Switch your fingers. Exhale through right. Hold at the bottom. Inhale through right. Hold your breath at the top. Last one here. Exhale through left. Now place your right hand back onto your knee. Take a few breaths here just through both nostrils. Hopefully you'll feel like your nasal passage is a little bit more open and it's a bit easier to breathe. See if you can keep that slow pattern of breathing as we did with the alternate nostril breathing. And gently crack open your eyes, come to sit towards the back of the mat. You can come to sit onto your heels. We'll come into child's pose, Balasana. You have uh, two different variations in your child's pose. The first one is to keep your knees together. This one is perfect if you have some low back pain or you feel some compression in the lower region of your spine. This is your option. If you want to take it a little bit further into the hips and your spine feels fine, you can walk your knees apart to about the width of your mat. From here, walk your hands away from you, whether in option one or you're in option two. Bring your forehead down towards the floor. Try to find as much space throughout your spine as you can. And then allow your hips to root down towards your heels. Allow your whole body to just melt into the floor, releasing any tension, any stress. Keep that nice, soft pattern of breathing. And two more deep breaths. And next inhale, look up. Walk your hands over towards the right side. Place your left palm down onto the right and then bring your head back in between the arms. Place your forehead down onto the floor if it can. If it doesn't reach the floor, then no worries. Just allow your head to hang heavy so that the muscles of your neck can relax here as well. And allow your shoulders to soften. And then press your left hip firmly down towards your left heel. You want to feel a nice gentle stretch on the left side of the upper body. Keep your attention with your breath. Last deep breath in and out on this side. And on your inhale, look up again. This time walk the hands over to the left side. Your right hand will come down onto the left. And then place your forehead back down towards the floor. Allow your whole upper body to melt here. Press your right hip down onto the right heel or towards the right heel if it's not reaching yet. See if we can create a yummy stretch on the right side of the upper body. And try to use a full capacity of your lungs. So you're breathing in all four directions meaning you're breathing down to the floor, sideways, and up towards the ceiling. This will help you stretch the muscles in between your ribs. Last two deep breaths here. Your inhale, look up again, bring your hands back to the middle, lift your hips away from your heels, and come to all fours. So here in tabletop position, you want to have your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Take a look at your hands. Make sure you have a lot of space in between the fingers. So really spread your fingers as far apart from one another as you can. And then grip your fingertips into the floor. All right, next inhale, you hollow the back. So you lift your tailbone up. You bring your belly down towards the floor, you just relax it. Glide your shoulder blades down the spine, open the chest, maybe look up towards the ceiling, 
and exhale round the spine. So pull everything up and away from your mat. Lift through the inner armpits up. Bring your chin into your chest and inhale, hollow again. See if you can ripple your spine from the base to the crown of your head. Exhale around. One more little round here. Inhale, hollow. And exhale around. You're really engaging your core here to pull everything up. And then inhale, come back to neutral. Walk your hands away from you until the arms are fully stretched out. And then place your forehead down onto the floor, coming into puppy pose. You want to make sure here that your hips are in line with your knees. So you're creating a 90 degree angle with your legs. Press your palms firmly down into the floor. Maybe take a look forward. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart here. Get a lot of space in between the fingers. As I said, press your palms down to the floor so that you're lifting your forearms slightly off the mat. You want to have a bit of an engagement here in the arms and the shoulders. And allow your chest to be heavy. Press the backs of the hips towards the wall behind you. You should feel a really good stretch throughout your spine and your armpits. Two more deep breaths. Next inhale, look back forward, lift yourself away from the mat. Walk the hands back underneath you. Come back to your tabletop position. So hands underneath the shoulders. From this position, you'll walk your hands one palm forward. So they're out in front of the shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Make sure your hands are still shoulder width apart and still a lot of space in between the fingers. From here, lift your hips up and back towards the wall behind you. Come into your down dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here. So just lifting one heel at a time, pressing the other one down. You can make any kind of motion that feels good to you here. I'm just going to walk a little bit more forward so I'm in the middle of my mat. And then gently come to a standstill. Make sure that your hands are still shoulder width apart. Allow your head to hang heavy here so no tension in the neck. You could nod your head back and forth. In yes motion, side to side, no, to make sure that the muscles of your neck are fully relaxed. And then press your chest back towards your knees. Press the upper arms towards one another. And then see if you can spread your shoulder blades apart. So you're uh, bringing more space between your shoulder blades. Keep pressing the backs of the hips towards the wall behind you. On your next inhale, look forward, step your right foot in between the hands. Bring your left knee down. And then from here, inhale, reach the arms up. Come to a low lunge. You have the option to keep the arms reaching up. If you want to, option two, you can just bring the hands down onto your front thigh. Whatever you feel like feels best for you in the moment. If you feel like you need some more opening here in the chest and the armpits, maybe reach the arms up. If you feel like that's too exhausting, or too intense, just bring the hands down onto your front thigh. All right, holding it for three more breaths. Make sure your core is nicely engaged. So imagine that you're pulling your frontal hip bones in towards your lower ribs here. Keep your breath smooth. One more big inhale. Exhale, place your hands down. Step your right foot back and come back to your down dog. Take a moment to pedal out again if that feels good to you. Or gently come to a standstill. Right, next inhale, look forward. This time step your left foot forward. Bring the right knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Again, maybe staying here, option one, option two. Hands onto your front thigh. Now with your back foot, you can either keep your toes tucked under or flatten your foot onto the floor. Whatever feels best for your back knee. All right, three more breaths. 
make sure that even though you're not reaching maybe the arms up, you keep lengthening through your spine. So in both options, either hands down or up, keep lengthening, finding space in between each vertebra of your spine. Core stays engaged, one more inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back to your down dog. Two breaths. Again, feel free to wiggle and move around or stay here in stillness. And then next inhale, look forward. Step your right foot forward again. Bring your left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Again, this is option one. Option two, hands onto your thigh. So same pose as we did before. Holding it for two breaths this time. Make sure your hips are low here and you want to have your front uh, heel in line with your knee. So they're stacked onto one another. On your exhale, bring the hands out in front of the heart. Bring them into a prayer. Inhale, open the chest, lengthen the spine, and exhale, twist to the right. So bringing or hooking the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Press your palms firmly to one another. And then twist yourself away from your front thigh. Work towards bringing your shoulders parallel to the side edge of the mat. Keep lengthening the spine. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down. From here, walk your back knee about a centimeter or three back. Extend your front leg, so press the hips back and flex your front toes. So you want to pull the toes in towards you. Press your right hip back, left hip gently forward so that your hips are squared to the front edge of the mat. On the inhale, come to a halfway lift, so lengthen the spine. From this elongation in the spine, on the exhale, you fold over. Holding it for a few breaths. Just bring all of your awareness to the back of the right thigh here. We're stretching the hamstrings at the moment. And see if you can use your breath to release any tension from that muscle group. So you'll notice that if you guide your breath towards a certain region that feels a little bit tense, usually that can help you to release that tension. So breathing towards your hamstrings. All right, next inhale, walk the hands back forward. Step your front foot back, come back to your down dog. All right, next inhale, look forward, bring your left foot forward. Step your right knee down. Inhale, reach up, come to your little lunge. Two deep breaths, again in option one or option two with the hands down. All right, next exhale, bring the hands out in front of the heart. Inhale, open the chest, lengthen the spine, and exhale, twist. So you're hooking the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. You press your palms firmly into one another. It feels as if your thumbs are trying to reach the middle of your chest. Keep your hips low. And then try to bring your shoulders parallel to the side edge of the mat. Last inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Walk your back knee, centimeter or three back. Press the hips back. Come to a runner's lunge. Ardha Hanumanasana. Press your left hip back, right hip forward. Engage your toes here. So pull the toes in towards you. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Allow your head to hang heavy if it wants to, if that feels good for the muscles of your neck and your upper back. Bring all of your awareness to the back of the left thigh this time, the group of muscles here, the hamstrings. See if you can soften them by guiding your breath towards them. All 
your next inhale look forward walk the hands forward step your left foot back coming back to a down dog just for two breaths All right, next inhale look forward take a little steps towards the front of your mat until you're at the front of your mat bend your knees your hips down and we'll come to a seated position you can press your hips a little bit back extend your legs forward feel free to take hold of the outsides of the hips here the fleshy part and pull it out to the side so that you can feel your sits bones making contact with the floor here again you'll um, pull the toes in towards you so you're flexing the toes elongate the spine so sit up tall inhale reach your arms up and exhale fold over feel free to keep your knees bent if that feels better at this point and obviously you don't have to reach for your toes if you can't you can hold on to your thighs your shins your ankles just anything that you can take hold of imagine that you're trying to move your chest in the direction of your big toes so try to keep the spine as elongated as possible you can however allow your head to hang heavy release the neck the upper back three more breaths On your inhale, come back up. Press your hips about halfway down the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart, and then walk yourself down onto your back. Now this is a part where maybe you wanna take some pillows and prop them underneath your knees if that feels better, or use some blocks, whatever you have on hand. Another little trick is to use your hands. So you make fists with your fingers and you place them close to the hips underneath the legs so that you have some support. This is part of the yin practice of this class. So feel free to close the eyes. We're gonna stay in this pose for a minute or two, maybe a little bit longer. We'll see how it feels. Make sure you tuck your shoulder blades under to keep your chest open. And then draw all of your awareness towards your hips. See if you can actively release any tension there by guiding your breath towards whatever feels tense. Make sure you breathe deep down into the hips and the low belly. From the moment you feel like you can go a little bit deeper and you have the fists here underneath your legs, you can walk the hands further away from the hips and that will allow you to go a little bit deeper into it. Or if you have pillows or blocks, you can put those to the side as well. As much as you can, try to keep your awareness with your body. Try to stay as present as possible in this moment. And just notice whatever comes up. It is possible to feel some discomfort here. As long as it's not any kind of painful discomfort in the muscles or the legs themselves, it's fine. If you do feel any kind of like tight pulling sensation, then just come out of the pose or prop something underneath your knees so that you won't go as deep into it. But a lot of times with these big hip openers, there is the possibility for suppressed emotions to come up. So if you feel a slight bit of emotional discomfort, see if you can breathe through it. Allow it to just be here for a while, allow it to visit. Don't try to push it away. Just breathe with it. And 
Make sure you keep your breath smooth and deep. Again, if you want to, you can hold little breaks between the inhales and the exhales if you feel called to do that. If that doesn't feel good to you, then no worries. You can just kind of loop the inhales and the exhales without a break. If you don't have your hands underneath your hips, maybe you want to bring your hands down onto your belly or onto your heart, whatever you feel called to do. Notice the rise and the fall of your belly as you breathe in and out. Staying here for about 30 more seconds. How much can you surrender in this pose? About three more deep breaths. gently bring the hands back to the outsides of the legs help your legs to get close to one another again so close the legs gently pull your knees in towards yourself wrap your arms around your knees and then hug the knees in towards you if it feels good for the low back you can gently sway from side to side if you notice that this doesn't feel that great for the spine, maybe feels a little bit crunchy, then just stay away from it. You can remain lying still in the middle. Keep breathing towards your hips. And then from here, gently roll onto your right side. Press yourself up from here to a seated position. That was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick evening practice. I hope you feel very tired and ready to go to bed. So I'm going to keep the outro very short. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next class. Namaste. Have a good night's sleep.